deploying Adobe Acrobat and Creative Cloud for Teams Acrobat subscriptions. In this video, we'll talk about how to create and deploy Acrobat packages which support Creative Cloud for Teams subscriptions. To get started on Mac OS X, we need the Acrobat 11 installer, the latest Acrobat patch, and the new CCT workflow package which will enable Creative Cloud for Teams subscriptions. You'll get all the download links on the webpage page you see on your screen. On Macintosh operating systems, you have to download three installer packages. The first is the Acrobat 11 installer, which is Acrobat Pro underscore 11 underscore web underscore WWMUI.DMG. The next is the Acrobat updater file, which is Acrobat UPD11007.DMG. And finally, the CCT workflow package, which is Acrobat CCT workflow.dmg. You'll also need a Unix compliant text editor. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be using BBEdit. However, you can use any Unix compliant editor. You'll also need Xcode Auxiliary Tools Package Maker from Apple. You can get that at the Apple Developer webpage. And now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to mount the DMG files once you get them downloaded. And what you're going to notice is that when you mount the DMGs, that all the files are standard packages, PKG files. And you're going to want to copy those PKG files to your desktop. And I've already done that for the purposes of this demonstration. So we've got it set. So the next thing that you want to do in our steps are to compress those packages. And you'll want to go to right mouse click and compress and then the package that you're selecting. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I've already zipped these files up and have them right here. Okay, so we've got all the installer packages. They're zipped. They're ready to go. The one thing that we need to do is the post install shell script. So let's have a look at that. So this is the post install shell script. You can modify the one that's in the ETK and it starts off very simply. You take the zipped package that you have and it starts off with the Acrobat 11 Pro installer package and it takes it to private temp and it unzips it. Then it moves on to the next package which is the Acrobat updater package zip. It takes to private temp and it unzips it. And finally it goes to the Acrobat CCT workflow package. It takes that file and it unzips it. The next step in the script is actually to begin the install process. So we have the function here install Acrobat and what it does is it goes to private temp, gets the package and it runs the install. It gives us a return of whether or not the install was successful or not. Then, if it's successful, it moves on. It goes to the update package with install Acrobat 11007. And it does the same thing, which is it goes, it starts the installation, it gives us a return on whether or not the installation was successful or not. Then it moves on. And in this function, we have the install Acrobat CCT workflow. And again, it does the very same thing. It, un it starts the installer. It lets us know whether or not that install was successful or not. And then it finally moves on. Very straightforward. OK. Next is Package Maker. We're going to 
want to start by giving the organization uh, field a name, which is in this case com dot. We're going to change it up a little bit here. Go CCT demonstration, and we want to set the minimum target for Mac OS 10, 10.5 Leopard. Click OK. Now, once we have the project started, we need to give the project a title. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to call it CCT Demonstration. And then go to File, Save, CCT Demonstration. And we're going to save this on the desktop. Now I'd like you to remember that this is only the package maker project. It's that this is not the build. So our next step is to start putting our zipped package files into the package maker project. First we're going to start with the Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro installer, then the Acrobat updater file, and finally, the Acrobat CCT workflow package. And we have one more file to add. It's our script, the post install shell script. Now, we have all three files and the shell script added. What we need to do now is we need to configure all of these files. So, select Adobe Acrobat Pro Installer Package and click the configure tab and we need to put a destination we need to put private TMP and we need to do this for each one of these files so I'll select the updater file and do the very same thing select the Acrobat CCT workflow package and do the same thing private and then the post install shell script. Now there is one more step we need to do with the post install shell script. We need to select the script. So we're going to click on the scripts tab, go to the post install field, go to the gears button there, click and select choose. And you're going to want to navigate to your shell script. And there I've got it, select choose, and now we've got it. So our next step is to save our project. So we go to file, save, and we've got one more step to do here. We need to build our project, so let's do that. And this is very important, you need to give it a file extension and make sure that it is a capital file extension and then save build succeeded now we need to close Package Maker, save our changes, and we're done. You can also deploy the packages individually using standard deployment tools like ARD for Mac. The order of deployment would be first the Acrobat 11 installer, then the Acrobat patch, and finally the Acrobat CCT workflow patch. Thanks for watching this video.